While performing research for my final presentation, I ran across an article by renowned gamification pioneer Yu Kai Chao. Chao is arguably the most influential gamification pioneer of our time. In 2014, he was rated the number one gamification guru by the World Gamification Congress. At the beginning of the article, Chao poses the question, can gamification make the world better? Chao believes the answer to that question is a resounding yes. He goes as far as saying that not only does gamification have real life value and impact, it even saves lives and could actually ensure our future as a race. To prove it, he showcases some examples of gamification that are built around a human-focused design. I was so blown away that I immediately changed my plans for my final project so that I can share some of these amazing platforms with you. Biochemists and researchers at the University of Washington's Center for Game Science worked together to create a puzzle game called Fold It. Fold It uses a game-like interface that allows people from all over the world to play and compete the object is to figure out various protein structures. To everyone's surprise, over 240,000 players registered for the game and competed fiercely. Only 10 days in, a player found a solution to the structure of a virus that causes AIDS, one that PhD scientists have been looking for for 15 years. It was a major breakthrough for AIDS research. A diary game called Pain Squad helps patients combat cancer. It's a mobile game designed to help kids fight cancer better by having them keep a diary about which medications work and which ones don't. But most of the time, kids with cancer are too tired to keep a journal, and they only record data occasionally, which makes it completely useless. Pain Squad is a role-playing cop game with missions and rewards, as well as police encouragement. It motivates kids to log their pains twice a day for two weeks. Now the game is helping doctors to give better care, and the kids are excited to fight their pains with a purpose. Pain Squad has been a huge success. Each year, at least 15 million children die from starvation, while another billion people have to live on less than $1 a day. Almost 50% of all human population live on less than $2 per day. Researchers know that people are spending a lot of time playing games on their phone and not helping the poor. So Free Rice created a quiz game where each time you answer a question correctly, they buy 10 grains of rice, which are paid for by advertisers. So the user improves their education by answering questions, hungry people get to eat, and sponsors get to advertise on a positive website. So far, Free Rice has donated more than 6,100 metric tons of rice, which is about 93 billion grains and enough to feed 10 million people. I picked my three favorites from the list to share, but there are seven more. To see the whole list and supporting videos, just do a search for top 10 social gamification examples that will literally save the world by Yukai Chao.